welcome to the Virtual Chub channel. I'm Chubble Up, and today we're going to be looking at how to add B haptics to your VR chat avatar. To get started, what we're going to need is really actually pretty simple. We're just going to need the B haptics OSC from the GitHub repository that I have linked below. below. And then um, you'll also need to have an avatar in Unity using the character creator. Um, if you're new to that and need help with that, please check out my other video on how to import uh, your, your uh, Vroid avatar into Unity. Let's get started. So in Unity now, um, the first thing we're gonna, gonna do is uh, we need to move this file into the assets. This comes with the uh, Behaptics uh, mod that they have for for VR chat. You can get both the mod and then also what you need for creating your own um, in. So I've got my code here that I need to move into the assets folder. So I've already gone ahead and done that, but um, you would just move that into the assets folder. If you want to get to that, you can go ahead and right click here and say show and explore. It will take you to the folder. Go ahead and go to the assets and I've moved my folder in here. The second thing you need to do is import the package. So we will go to edit and then the second thing you're going to do is import the package. So we're going to go to edit uh, assets and then import package, custom package. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the B haptics O S C and go ahead and upload that and go ahead and import that. And the other thing that you're going to need for this as well, is something that comes in the creator companion that you can add in. Um, it's the avatar 3.0 manager. So it's gonna be using that avatar 3.0 manager as well. Again, my other video shows you how to install that one as well. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and go under the B Haptics OSC and then they've got a little wiki in guide and repository which is awesome so you can actually um, get information on how to do this. And then you want to go ahead and choose your avatar and go to add component right here. So add component and then there's going to be one in there called OSC B Haptics OSC integration. Go ahead and turn that on and then you're going to get this little visualization on here and underneath that you'll see each item. So depending on which um, B haptics you have, or if you have all of them, you can go ahead and add them onto this. So if I wanted to add the vest, probably the most common, I guess, uh, I could go ahead and add that. Now, notice when it adds it in, it tries to fit it kind of well, but maybe it's not the right size or we need to adjust where it is. So we can go ahead and click on it and you can actually move this around now and you want to get it situated on your on your avatar. And then if you want to make it bigger or smaller, um, then you can use your tools up at the top here. And there's one here that's the scale tool. So you can go ahead and do the scale. And then uh, you can make it stretch it one way. If you want to make it all the way bigger, do the middle there. Or you can stretch it forward or back. Try to get those points in the right spot on your avatar. So those little balls that you see there are the touch points that um, if people touch or if you touch with your hands, that will cause the vibration in VR chat. So you want to get those kind of where you want them um, based on that. And then you can kind of oh, you can do that or you can rotate um, around here. And then also I probably want to angle it a little bit better so I can use my ro rotation tool and kind of fix it so that it's on correctly. All right, so then I can go back, go ahead and add the hands now. So let's add the right hand. Now this one always, uh, this one is never like close. The vest is always close, but this one is like way off. So if I want to go ahead and rotate this, I got to find the knuckles. And then rotate 
it on and then try to fit it onto the hand. And then again, depending on how big your avatar's hand is, you might have to uh, move it around. So let's try to get it as close as possible here. All right. Oh, man, I messed that up. Okay. All right. So I'll go ahead and suit up the rest of this, and then I'll show you what you can do to hide the uh, the actual uh, vest and hand things. Now, if you don't want to hide them, you can always keep them visible and. All right, so what you need to do to turn off or turn on the ability to see that mesh. All right, and I've got my whole uh, B haptic setup um, applied here. So the next step really is just to hide these uh, parts from view because mine doesn't really fit very well. I just kind of want the sensors to work though. So what I can do is go ahead and go into um, my avatar here and I could either uh, click on the items here and get the information over here or you can pick them from the side over here and so this one's called head. And so I just want to turn off this mesh renderer. So we've got this thing called mesh renderer right here. If I turn that off, it's going to go ahead and hide it. Um, same thing over here. We can go ahead and hide that one. We go into open the prefab right here. And then we're actually going to get the item. And if we click on that item, then we would get the skin mesh render. And we can go ahead and turn that off. Um, and actually, for all of these, I'm going to turn this off. Okay. We can go back right here. All right, we can go ahead and look at the game, make sure nothing's showing. Okay, yep, it's good. And so then all we would need to do is upload it to our VR chat SDK. Probably going to have a lot of recommendation errors and too many things. I haven't optimized this at all, just kind of adding it in there because I think it's cool. And then the next step you'll need to do is open up, uh, obviously, VR chat once it's uploaded, but um, we also need to upload the kind of the integrator. And so I've got a link for that below. Um, so the next thing we're going to need to do is uh, open up VR chat, obviously, and then also uh, this B Haptics OSC um, downloaded from the website that's in the link description below. So I'll go ahead and download or open this up and ruin your computer or whatever. So this just goes through and then allow access. So basically this needs to be running in the background while you're using VR chat um, to be able to, uh, to use this. So I've uploaded my avatar into VR chat. So if you need to upload uh, or, or to load your avatar after you've uploaded, uh, go ahead and load your options, go to avatars right here, and then go to uploaded and you should find your avatar in there. Now, you may need to restart the OSC background once you're in VR chat. I found that that, uh, for some reason, is needed to be done. But once I go ahead and select that, um, I can then... Now, if I want to test... Uh, so the first thing I need to do is turn on the OCS in um, VR chat. So open up your little uh, box here and go to options. Go to OSC and just make sure that's enabled. You might also want to reset your config after that to make sure everything's right. Now, once that's on and you've got the uh, it on in the background, all you gotta uh, the next thing you gotta do is make sure you have the interactions enabled. So 
because without interactions, no one's going to be able to touch you and make your things go off. Or you're not going to be able to touch yourself. Touch, 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 touch me. I want to feel dirty. All right, so we can go ahead and turn those on by going to the main screen here, or the main settings. Under settings, there's one called self-interact. You can turn that on and off. And it might be annoying touching yourself all the time, so you might actually turn that one off. But the one you want is avatar interactions here. And you want either friends or everyone to be able to touch you. You can also turn off interactions or have nobody touch you here. Um, but once you have those on, then feel free to go out in the world and feel the touch. All right, guys, I'll see you around.